I'm gonna show you the top five royalty free music websites for YouTube videos. And if you're not familiar with the rules behind using music inside of your YouTube videos, I'll give you a quick overview so you don't get into any type of copyright issues or copyright strikes down the road. So most music tracks have what's called copyright protection. That just means you just can't take any song and edit your YouTube videos with it. You could either do this though by using copyright free music or royalty free music. And royalty free music basically what it means is you get a license, basically you get a permission from the person that created the song to use that music track. A lot of platforms make this really easy and automated so you don't have to manually reach out to anyone that creates music. And YouTube has a new option where you could upload licenses during uploading your video to make sure you never get into copyright issues. And I'll show you that at the end of the video as well. Let's jump into the list of the top five royalty free music websites for YouTube videos. Now, some of these that I'm going to show you are going to be completely free, not just royalty free, but actually free. You don't have to pay anything for them. And some of them are going to require a monthly subscription, a low monthly subscription but those will give you a higher quality music file so you could decide for yourself depending on where you are in your YouTube journey. Now, the first one I'll show you is provided by YouTube and it's completely free. So if you go to Creator Studio, if you come over here to the Creator Music tab right here, you basically will see a bunch of different tracks. Now, these are popular songs, something you just can't do on YouTube until this came out but you could click on a song, for example, and if you do want to use a song, there is no upfront payment required. But these tracks allow you to monetize your videos, but they will share their revenue with the music right holder. Now, the split between how it's shared is not clear just as of yet, but you will give something from what you earn on YouTube to whoever holds the music right to the specific song that you use. So if you don't want to do that, this is not a good option for you, but this does give you access to thousands of popular songs. There's no other way around this for YouTube. This is the place you have to use if you want popular songs. So if I click view tracks here, for example, you'll see all these different tracks and I could click the three dots, see the usage details and then download the track and use them. So if I press view usage, you could see exactly what's going on. You could see how much of the songs I could use. You could see if it expires at some point, full monetization to me, right? So you could learn more about each one and then you could press download. And it downloads the MP3 format here that you could use in any editing software of your choice. Now, some are also not gonna be eligible in every region. So I wanted to show you this first, but there are a bunch of limitations here that you should read per song. The second one on the list is called Audio Jungle. This one I've probably used for close to 10 years now. It's by a company called Invato. And I'll go ahead and put a link to all of them in the description. But this one is really interesting. You could actually search for any song. So let's go ahead and look for background songs here that I'm going to use for my YouTube videos. And you'll see a whole bunch of different songs here. Now, this platform is a little bit unique. Basically, you have to pay per song. Some of the other ones I'm going to show you, in fact, all the other ones, you either could download everything for free or get a monthly subscription for unlimited downloads. But this one, Audio Jungle, has probably some of the highest quality music files I've seen. Some of the best creators of songs here use this platform to upload their original creation to. And then you could listen to any one of them. If you like it, you could add it to a cart here and then you could go ahead and buy it. And then they have a license here that you could download as well. And then you could also download WAV files, not just MP3 files, a much better quality file here. So this is a little bit high end, but a lot of times I have used these in my YouTube videos where I really want to elevate the production quality. The next one is called Pixabay and Pixabay also has royalty free photos and videos as well. But under the music tab here, they have a lot of different options available to you. Now, Pixabay is one of the free options out there. So this is all royalty free and completely free to use. So you can basically listen to any song, press play here. And then if you like that song, you want to use it in your edit, press download right here. And it's going to download it as a MP3 file. Now, these again don't have a higher quality file like a WAV file, but they are free to use. Now, this is again a little bit limited in my experience based on some of the ones I'm going to show you that require a license. Just because this is free, you kind of get what you pay for relative to the ones that have a licensing fee or a monthly fee. 
but it's a good place to start if you're new to YouTube and you don't want to invest any kind of money. Next on the list is called Epidemic Sound and Epidemic Sound I've used for a while as well. And if you go under the browse tab here, you could basically search by genre, moods, themes, and they even have sound effects. Now this is dedicated to sound only. You won't find any type of royalty free images or videos. But for music is one of the most popular ones out there. So if I choose a song like classical, for example, I could select it just like the other platforms. I could go ahead and listen to it. And then if I like it, I could press download. Now, Epidemic Sound is a subscription platform, which means for personal use here, which you could see everything that is available for personal, you could go ahead and pay monthly or you could start a free trial here. And they also have a commercial license. So a lot of times I make videos for different clients. And for those, I use the commercial license for anything personal. You could use the personal license. So see which one is appropriate for you to have a learn more or read more about each one of those. So you could see which one is a good fit. The last one I wanted to show you is called Invito Elements. This one is the one I've used personally for many years, probably my entire time, the six years on YouTube, I've used Invito Elements for the most part in most of my videos. But with Invito Elements, basically you could get, if you go to the tab for music right over here, they have a lot of royalty free music tracks. So same as the other platforms, you could listen to any one of them and then press download. Now, based on my experience, this has a lot of high quality and you have unlimited downloads again, and you could get the license for each one. I'll press download here. I'll show you what you get when you download a song from Invato Elements. So you get multiple different files. You get the WAV file. This is much better than MP3 quality. And you also get some kind of a PDF that gives you the license permission, or you could download this separately, depends on the song. One of the main reasons I use Invato Elements though is I also get my sound effects over here. Any stock video or photos or graphics that you've seen in this video, all my videos, they're from all these different tabs. So it's an all-in-one bundle. I'm not just paying for music, I'm paying for every asset, basically any creative element I use across all my YouTube videos, all in one place makes it easier to search. I don't have to basically have multiple different subscriptions that way. And when you get music from YouTube, basically when you upload a video and you come to this page, video elements, you'll see add music licenses. So ensure full monetization by adding licenses from creator music. Now this is specific only to creator music. So if you press add here, you could actually go ahead and see your downloaded songs from this account. And then you make sure basically your license is here. So this is a way to make sure you don't get into copyright issues when using creator music. So between those five, you should have a ton of different options depending on where you are in your YouTube journey. I hope you found this useful. I'll catch you next time.